Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. In today's video, I did a chit chat get ready with me, which pretty much, I guess, kind of a life update. I go into my experience with Six Flags this past weekend, which is a little questionable. And I also go into future ideas for YouTube where I kind of want my channel to, like the direction of my channel to head. So if you guys are interested in these topics, then keep watching. Okay, so to start out, I'm gonna go in with the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna go in with, what is this called? Uh, Burkina. I'm gonna use that in my crease. I forgot all about this palette. I've had it stuck in my drawer forever. And I just recently cleaned everything out, got rid of a lot of crap, and finally just organized. I, this, everything was just mumbled up, mumbled up. Everything was just all over the place in here and it was just giving me so much anxiety. So I don't really have a plan for this video for what I'm gonna talk about. So it's just gonna be pretty random. I guess it's kind of like every video, but yeah. Oh, I went to Six Flags the other day. So I actually went on my birthday. So that was this past Sunday. My birthday is June 23rd. So I turned 29, woo. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been to Six Flags since I think junior high maybe? I think that might've been my last time. Oh no, no, no. I went for Fright Fest in high school. I think that was my senior year I went to Fright Fest. But I think I'm good for like another, like maybe the rest of my life, honestly, I feel like. I am so not a roller coaster person. Like I'll go on roller coasters, but it's not my thing. Yeah, I don't know. My mom's a big roller coaster person, but my brother and I never really got into them. But it's weird because I do like some rides, like in Disney, was it just maybe the Magic Kingdom? Is that where, um, is it Splash Mountain? Not Splash Mountain. Is it Splash Mountain? Yeah, Splash Mountain. That was my all time favorite ride. I went on that so many times in a row. And I like, not that I loved that huge drop or anything like that. That was always kind of a nightmare and it always kind of scared me going on the ride. But it was just a, a cool ride in general. They had all like of the, the animated, like animatronic characters inside and it takes you through a whole storyline. And it's, I don't know, it, it was so theatrical and I don't know. I mean, you guys know I like cartoons and characters and all that, but it was just really neat. And I love log flumes just in general. So I don't know why I'm getting like, like emotional about it. What is that? Actually, I, I just got my period today. So that's probably why. I swear I could cry about anything. It's just like so ridiculous. Like, let me know if you guys are that way too. Like I could seriously just like, I think I cried about a hoagie the other day. It was just like, it was just like the best hoagie I've ever had, you know? Oh my God, this is getting ridiculous. But anyway, back to Six Flags. So um, one ride in particular, I freaking hated. It was um, green, the Green Lantern. If you guys have gone on that, let me know what you thought of it. I literally, I feel like I was in so much pain during the whole entire roller coaster. Like my jaw was like clenched so hard. I'm surprised that I didn't wind up cracking a tooth or something. It just, your head was kind of like wobbling. And if you look up the ride, I'll try to post a picture up here. You have to like stand during the entire thing and you have a little wedge that's in between your legs. But for the most part, you have to, like they even are really specific about the rules. like over the loudspeaker when you're getting on the ride, which always freaks me out. But you have to like stand with your feet on the ground as you're going through the entire roller coaster. And that just scared me, let alone. I was like, oh no, every time I started to feel like my, my feet going up, because I'm very short, I was like, oh no, like I, it felt like I was like gonna wind up breaking a knee or something. And also like your head's like wobbling in here. Like there's like padding on both sides of the thing that's around your head. But I mean, obviously it doesn't do anything. Like your, your head's shaking all over the place. And that was actually the last ride that we went on, which was kind of a bummer because you feel like, I don't know, I didn't really want to end on that note, but I'm glad that it wasn't the first ride either because I'm telling you, I probably wouldn't have gone on anything else. I liked Superman. It did freak me out though. You're, they put you in like a, like a flying position, like after, like once you start to go off, do you start to go off? Once the ride starts and you're already buckled in, it tilts you forward like you're flying throughout the loops. I really wanted to go on the Batman one, but the line was so crazy long for that. And like, I'll go on roller coasters. Like I really don't mind them for the most part, as long as it's not like any like really steep drops like that 
scares me off right away. Like if it's a drop and then goes into like a turn, I'm cool with that. Like that doesn't bother me because it like lightens the blow a little bit. But nothing that goes down straight or like just has like a really like long drop, I'm like, nope. But I'm going in with um, Casablanca for my eyelid, which is this golden shade here. But I had chicken fingers there, and their chicken fingers are actually really good. They're like the nice, like, substantial, like, plump chicken fingers. Like, I really expected to get just like a shitty, like, limp piece of chicken, you know? Although they were out of turkey legs, which really pissed me off, because I was really craving that. I feel like when you go to a theme park, it's all about, like, that big turkey leg and also, like, a churro. Which we did get a churro, at least. But I did want to talk to you guys about a series that I've been thinking about for actually a really long time now. And it's something that I've actually always wanted to do. So I really, I've always, okay, so let me just start over. So I've always wanted to interview people. It's just something that, I don't know, it brings me joy, you know? I just really like asking people deep questions and kind of catching them off guard. And yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I always, I love watching interviews as well because you just really get to know people on a real level. And especially if there's a good interviewer, you really get to know that person and they just like catch them off guard completely with questions and you're like, whoa, they wouldn't have answered that otherwise, you know, but you just like slip that in. Like, I feel like that's who I wanna be, you know? But I think it would be cool to interview influencers, you know, people who are, either doing this full time or have a big following just so that I don't so that everyone can learn from them cuz I know for me before I got started I I always watched interviews or Q&As with influencers so that I can kind of figure out how they made things happen for themselves where they started kind of a few things that they overcame along the process cuz there are a lot of things that you have to overcome in order to do this job it's a very it's a very demanding job, but it's also, you need to have, I guess, the confidence to start. I feel like a lot of people think it's strange until you actually make it. And then people are like, oh, like, you know, then they want to like talk about you and like, you know, work with you and brag about you. But a lot of people aren't there for you in the beginning. And I always find that so interesting to talk to other influencers about that. I just think it would be really helpful for just be able to get to know them better. And also I find that you really start to see who someone is when they're with somebody else because I feel like it's easier for people to kind of fake who they are just in a room by themselves making a video and then they're editing it, I guess the way that makes them feel comfortable. But I don't know, I just wanna put people off guard. I wanna make people a little uncomfortable but also comfortable enough to tell me the uncomfortable stuff. You know what I mean? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I also want to do, I think I've already told you about this, but a series where it's like Ask Annie, where you can ask me all kinds of advice and I answer your questions. I just feel like a pretty good advice giver. I don't always take people's advice. I rarely take people's advice actually, but I feel like I'm pretty good at, pretty good at telling people how it is. And I can just picture myself with like a glass of wine and like a robe or something on my couch downstairs, just like answering questions. <laughs> and giving advice. I feel like all throughout the video, I keep getting shorter and shorter. I'm sitting on this cushion that's like this this height, and then it slowly like compresses like as the video goes on. So when I watch it later, like I just see like like the time frames of me just like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I've been thinking about going platinum blonde. Let me know what you guys think about that. It just seems really extreme because I've never been like a blonde really at all. I tried once when I was 18 and I went from like a dark, dark red, like, and I had somebody, like I knew somebody who knew someone who opened up a salon out of their house, which is always a bad idea if they're like starting out. But this girl did not tell me how much damage this was gonna be. She was like, oh, it's, it'll be fine. And like, I expected damage. And like, the thing is like, I'm not an idiot. Like it, like, I'm sure if she would have told me that it would have been like extremely like damaging, I probably still would have done it anyway because I'm stubborn. But this girl did not even let me know. Like, and my hair was super long. My hair was like probably down to almost my belly button or maybe just above it. And like I said, it was red. So I went from red and she made me like bleach blonde. Like it was like a yellow, like just like gross. And my hair was so 
like broken. It was like a chemical cut. Like I had pieces that were like this short. And so I wound up having her cut my hair to like my shoulders. And I left the salon like just like, I kind of just was like, don't like even do anything to it. Like just keep it like this shade, whatever. Like at that point I was there for hours and it looked like shit and I was just upset. I paid her so much money and then I was just like, I walked out, got a box of dye on my way home and dyed my hair like a light brown and just kept it like that for such a long time. Just in case you're curious, I actually wound up my, not healing my hair, but I made it a lot better using, um, is it mane and tail or tail and mane? I think it's tail and mane. There's a shampoo and conditioner that they actually use on horse's hair. And that really helps with damaged hair, like extremely damaged hair. But yeah, so that experience was scarring. But I got a blonde wig in, not recently. This is maybe like, maybe two, two, three months ago. But I've been using it a lot and it's platinum blonde. And I just love the way that it looks. I never expected me to look good with blonde hair. I think from that experience, I just thought that I couldn't go blonde because I looked so bad, but also that was bleach blonde. It was like a yellow, like not good <laughs> blonde. <laughs> so now that I see the possibilities, I'm like, I think I wanna do it. But I did order a, so a wig company reached out to me, which I always have wig companies reach out to me, which is great because I can always use them for cosplays. But I got one that was um, kind of more just for me. So they had a, um, like a short blonde platinum bob. It's like, yes. This way I'll be able to like already envision it and see what it actually looks like. But I can't wait for you guys to see that. I'll have to wear it in like a makeup video. I feel like short blonde hair is like the new, it's like the it thing right now. The it thing. What am I, like 50? All right guys, I'm just gonna straighten my hair real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with Mac Really Me. I need a new one. Oh, I almost forgot about my highlighter. A nose highlight. I got a haircut the other day and I only got two inches off, but you know when you get your haircut, it feels so much shorter than it actually is. So I'm just like not at that like confident point yet. But yeah, so this is the finished look guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about um, the interviewing series, interviewing influencers, what you think about that. And also the advice segment, segment, series. Is that also a series? I guess it would be a series. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of those. And if you have any other ideas for me, let me know. I just want to start switching it up and having more fun on here. I don't know. I just feel like not that, not that doing makeup isn't fulfilling, but I just want to do, I want to incorporate more, like I want to incorporate other things that I'm also interested in and kind of just make this like an all around like TV show. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if that's what I even mean though, but <laughs> All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.